dream projects that you have been desperately wanting to design. Maybe a show or even a different art form that you've been dying to get involved with. Or we can go the opposite direction. Are there any shows that you never want to do again? I guess, honestly, I'm so desensitized to the idea of the dream project because I never get to choose my project. <laughs> I'm a set designer. I'm picked because they love my interiors or isn't that great? He really did that great outdoor. I did ballrooms for decades. I just loved and I guess I did it well. Um, but I guess the dreamiest is locations. Right now, since I live in Michigan, I dream for a job in Texas every January. Um, I dream for a job abroad when I have time to go. I think that I like to dream about where do I get to work? Um, and the people that I get to work with, I think that is the greatest thing because I've got to see a lot of the world because I was hired for the gig. When it comes to shows that uh, that I, I really want to do or my dream show, I feel like I'm living my dream doing shows. So I've never really had a list of shows that I that I want to do. I'm open to whatever comes my way. There are shows that I don't ever want to do again. And not because they're not good shows, but if you've worked in theater as long as I have, you've done them to death. I never need to do Fiddler on the Roof again. I never need to do Sound of Music ever again. Dream Project, uh, well, my favorite musical is Cabaret, and I have not designed that yet. Cabaret, I would love to, I would love to design that musical. Spring Awakening. Spring Awakening was one of my favorites that I saw that I was kind of underwhelmed by the set and I saw it and I was just really, and again, I get, I get now that, you know, it's a statement, it's an abstract piece. As a kid, I was like, where's all the sets? I just saw Wicked and it had this. <laughs> um, so that was kind of still a show that I've always wanted to do and just kind of, I've never really gotten a chance to do Spring Awakening and that's always been kind of a dream.